Okay, so vector equation of a line. Now we're looking at one in three dimensions. Uh, so let's say we want to find the vector equation of a line that goes through this point, 6, 1, minus 3, and is in the direction of this vector here, minus 9, minus 4, 2. Uh, and we take this exactly the same as we did in the, in the two-dimensional case, um, except now it's 3D. So it's going to be x, y, z, okay, now in three dimensions, is equal to the position vector of some point on the line plus lambda, which is our parameter, which will move us up and down the line, multiplied by some vector, which is the direction of the line. So the vector that is the position vector of any point on the line, well, we're told that this point here is a point on the line. Therefore, the position vector of this point can be put here. So 6, 1, minus 3. And then we're told the direction of the line. Okay, it's moving in this direction. So I can just put that vector in here, minus 9, minus 4, 2. And there we go. That's the vector equation of the line that goes through this point here in that direction. Not particularly taxing. Another example, we want to find the vector equation of the line that goes through these two points. Notice the subtle difference now between this example and the previous. The previous we had a point and a direction, this time we've got two points. Okay. So, first things first, we need to find the direction of the line. Now, the direction of the line, because these two points both lie on the line, then we know that the vector from A to B must be in the direction of the line because both points lie on the line. Now you know from year one that the vector from A to B is equal to the position vector of B minus the position vector of A. So in this case that's going to be 1 minus 1, 7. Subtract 15, 7 minus 4. And that is going to give us minus 14 minus 8, 11. Okay, so that is a vector in the direction of the line. And then finally, I can just write my answer now. x, y, and z is equal to a point on the line. So I could choose a or b here. It doesn't matter. Or I could choose a, any other point on the line. Okay, you can work them out. It's easier to choose a or b then. So 15, 7, minus 4, plus my parameter lambda, multiplied by the direction of the line, which I've just worked out to be minus 14, minus 8, 11. And that is my answer. That is a linear line that goes through the points A and B. You can tell it goes through the points A and B because when lambda is 0, you can see that x, y, z is equal to a. And when lambda is 1, then you'll get that x, y, and z are equal to b.